This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we've got a double feature of my M55 Tornado. Now this first one, we're on Fisherman's Bay. And I want to go through a couple things with you guys here. Uh, this is going to just be some tips for you guys that are wanting to play artillery. And I know this is not the ideal tank to teach people to play artillery in because this has got the best of pretty much artillery has to offer. Now normally I go to K1 when I spawn in the south. However, my entire team is going the other way. I'm not going to be the guy to sit over there and try to hold that side. It's not worth it. So instead, I fall right. I go, I'm going to use the road as the initial hill, but I'm also going to go even further below ground and then use a bush to cover myself so that people don't spot my muzzle flash. Um, and that'll help keep me hidden for most of the game. This bush right here, it's amazing. You can park behind it. Don't pull into it. Park Focus behind it. Location. That way your muzzle flash is completely concealed and the game doesn't allow people to spot you through the bush. Um, now, if somebody's left or right of the bush, they can still spot you, but other than that, you're not going to. Now, right off the bat, we see an E4 right here, and he's begging for it. Shot out. Pow! 756, and we set him on fire. And a mayor, uh, right off the bat, everybody's like, awesome, Artie's on point. Yep, I don't mess around, folks. When I get into a game, I'm already, I know what I'm going to do from each position, and I'm ready for it. Now, I'm seven seconds out from reloading again, and you can see I'm kind of looking to see if anybody's going to get spotted there. And then I see a new tank destroyer down to the right. So I check to see who it is so that I can use that information later. It's a Death Star. So now I know every time that that tank gets spotted right to the right that it's a Death Star. E4. Pow! 616. Game over. Go back to the garage. He's going to go make a forum post about how OP RD is. <laughs> you know it's going to happen. Just wait for it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So we're in a position, and this allows us to stop most of the advance to the city. Um, and that's what you want to do and keep them out of the, the places that they're safe. You know, Death Star's pulled out. I'm not wanting to bloom out and shot out. Pow! 765. This guy just pulled out, shot once, and lost all of his health. And those are the quick shots that you have to do. And like I said, you've got to make sure that you keep your reticle as small as possible whenever you're rotating. Now, on some artillery, you've got a very narrow firing arc, which means you're going to have to rotate your, your tank while you're trying to aim in and it will bloom out but usually on those tanks it doesn't bloom out as much when your turret rotates or when your chassis rotates on the m55 your chassis rotates that thing goes way out okay 1390 i was i was dialing them in i can't let them get close to me and uh they finished them off that's a good thing now they're asking me to counter battery and i'm like all right i'll try to counter battery these guys and I'm, I'm watching this area right here because Artie's known to be behind the rock on the right or on the road straight straight ahead to my left of my reticle. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye out. And then they spot a heavy tank and I'm like, fine, I'll shoot the heavy tank. M103, shot out. Pow, 777, we win the jackpot. Not quite, but you know, you know what I mean. So we're being really, really effective. And as you can see, I'm still looking for anything to fire. And I am not seeing anything. So unless he just happened to fire the moment that I uh, looked away, which I would highly, you know, doubt, but, you know, it's possible. Oh, M48 Patton. Come on, baby. Shot out. Now, I thought he was going to do one of those wiggle moves where he pulls forward and backs up. So I pulled the trigger to catch him. And then he just took off, so I didn't catch him. Now, I'm keeping an eye on my mini-map. As you can see, I don't use the compass anymore. I use the mini-map uh, because there's just a lot more information. You can tell exactly where people are as opposed to, you know, the compass, which just gives you a bunch of red dots on the screen and you have no idea where on the map those guys are. 
Um, oh, look at that. M55 shot out. He gets turned. My shell's a little bit late and in front of him. Had he not turned so far left, I would have hit him right there. It's unfortunate. And now we have our ISU-152 being circled by what appears to be a Leopard. And it is a Leopard 1 Tier 10 medium tank. So I'm almost loaded. I'm zooming in. I want to catch this Leopard. And unfortunately, he kills the ISU before I can get the shot out. I do splash him for 90, and I tell my arty guys that are next to me, get out of here, let's relocate, fall, we'll fall back to a point we can defend, and then we'll turn around and shoot the guy. I've done it 100,000 times on this map. I just go forward, I get to the house, protect myself from being spotted until the guy is close enough that I can shotgun. Uh, at first, I think that he's going to try to stay on the cap, but he's actually just passing through. So I get to the house, I turn around, I'm waiting, I am spotted. I've got to be able to see him first, and here he comes. He's a one-shot kill, guaranteed. I can take a hit. There we get hit. Now I just got to make sure I hit, and pow! 256. Unfortunately, we low roll him, but we do track him. Unfortunately for me, the other artillery didn't listen, and they just kept going. Now that'll keep them alive, but it doesn't help me at all, and if I'd, if I'd have realized they were doing that, then I wouldn't have done that. Um, but the TVP comes in, cleans up the Leopard. That leaves the three artillery and one heavy tank. Now we're going to watch the uh, TVP here. And he's the mobile tank of the bunch here, so he's going to get across the map pretty quick. We do have a Vengeance over there as well. And we have a T-30. So let's see what these guys are about to get into. M55 gets another kill on the M103, so that's good. And that just leaves their artillery. And this TVP is going to... I'm not going to lie. He's a, he's a good guy. I was talking to him in this match. He's a good guy, but he's going to miss a couple opportunities here. Now right here, he's got that M55 right there. Instead of shooting him there, he keeps going. Now he does take the shot and kill the guy right here. Which is a good move. Get the gun off the board. Now he's got the guy straight there that he could have hit possibly. And then this artillery here is a, is going straight for that T-30 who's completely oblivious to his position. And uh, he would have ate a 8 inch howitzer right through the side of his tank. And that would have been a paddling. So we end up with 3,500 damage essentially with one kill. And we die to the leopard that was flanking. But we get him killed anyway. Now, second match of the day. Lakeville. Now you guys know that I love this map and this is no exception you're gonna see my voice pop up in the bottom right corner or my name pop up in the bottom right corner where I'm talking to these guys early on I'm like look I just need a few of you guys to hold Death Valley if you can hold it I don't need you to push over the center I don't need you to get hit I need you to just sit there and let them come to the top of the hill and I will help you okay Watch what's wrong with this picture. Are you guys seeing the minimap? Everybody on my team is running away to the city. Leaving them a wide open path to go straight to our base. Luckily, we have a T-57 Heavy, a Bat Chat, and a Death Star that are going to try to defend for us. Now, I'm going to give you guys another tip. And you're going to see me do it twice in a row right off the bat. Do not drop your reticle or drop your aim after you fire your shot until the shot is in the air. And I say this because if you drop your aim at like the moment you shoot, your gun will jerk and you will miss the shot every time. And you're going to see me do it twice right off the bat. So Focus just watch. So I'm waiting. Okay, M103. Shot out. Now I'm going to move. Now see, because I did that, I completely missed the shot. That was not me hitting him. And that was my first shot. And you can see the T-57's like, great shot, Artie. I come over here because you asked me to, and now you're missing your shots. That's not good. And I'm like, alright, don't worry. I'll get him on the next one. Right? And I'm about to do it again. So try not to do this, guys. I know I say shoot and move, but you can't shoot... And then drop your aim immediately, because the moment you do, the shot goes wherever it wants. And uh, you'll see it again. Two times, in, this was the second time. 
So we're just waiting for them to spot. These guys are doing the right thing. They're just sitting there spotting these guys. M103 pushes over the hill, paddling inbound, and then I do the same thing. And we completely miss them again. Um, and now the T-57 Heavy's in trouble. Uh, he's fighting the M103. The IS-7's pushing down. They've got an, a bunch of armor coming down on these guys. M103 goes down. E-5's there. And at this point, I'm essentially just watching this side just fall apart. But I'm going to get a shot on this IS-7 here. And shot out. 550. And now I need to get out of here. And I tell the T-57, I'm like, dude, I'm sorry I missed my two shots on those guys. If I'd have been able to hit those shots early, then I think we would have probably won that side. But because of it, I've got to, I've got to fall back. I've got to give myself a chance to possibly pull this off. That way, our team doesn't completely screw the pooch. Now, the entire time that that's going on, we've been saying we need people to head back to base or push. Do one of the other. Like, you sent the entire team into the city and you just stopped. Either push through or fall back. I don't care what you do, just make something happen. And you're going to see what happens here in a moment. So we get to the, this point of the map. This puts me out of view range for most of the people, so I'm not going to get spotted. And I've got the house there to protect me also, if things go south. So I cover my silhouette with the house, and then I just back up just enough to shoot over the house into the base so that I don't have to worry about it. Now all I need is for them to spot these guys. And the T-57, rightfully so, is not happy with our team. And like I said, he fell back and I, I feel bad because I feel like I let him down and I kind of did. It was my fault I missed those two shots. I know that that's a thing and I keep forgetting. You know, I'm so worried about moving after every shot. E5 shot out, pow, 685, track him right in the base, reset the cap again. We've got FE305 and their uh, Lorraine 40, or, yeah, their Lorraine uh, 155 moving into the base. And then they've got a bulldog right behind him. And so I've got to try to hit the bulldog here because I can get him off the board with one shot, and that's just one guy capping the base. Shot out, pow, I hit the turret of the E5 and managed to splash both of them for 500 each. So that was a thousand damage in one shot there. That was a paddling. And it was a double reset, so that was even better, right? So at this point, I've already got a defender's medal because by resetting the E5 twice and the Bulldog once, I guarantee I've got over 70 hit point or 70 resets. Shot out on the E5 and it under or it undershoots. Now I'm trying to hit right between these two for that awesome bombardiers metal you guys know what i'm talking about i've got 11 or 12 of them in this tank and i'm wanting number 12 or 13 and i'm aiming for the bulldog because if i hit the front of the bulldog i'll likely splash kill the e5 come on shot out and i catch the e5 instead go figure just too flat of a shell arc and that leaves the bulldog right there for everybody to hit. Enemies in our base. Medium tank comes in to clean up the bulldog. And there it goes. IS-7. Come on, medium tank. Clean up that IS-7. Now this AMX-1390 shooting at our medium tank. Kills the motherland. Pulls forward. He's putting rounds into somebody else. And shot out. Pow! 772. Now... I've got to bring this up, all right? No light tank in history should ever survive an 8-inch howitzer direct impact. Ever. It should not be a thing, all right? There's no way that my shell should not penetrate a light tank that has no armor, period. But I digress. I'm going to tunnel vision here, and you guys are going to see what I do I know I need to hit this E75 to help the Waffentrager out. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and... I spot a tank right in front of me, and I take the shot at the E75 instead of killing the Object 263. That's not going to end well for me, guys. That Object 263 is actually decently mobile, which means I'm in trouble because I have a 25-second reload, and he's on me. 
So now I'm gonna try to at least get moving. Eh, it's too it's too late. There's no way I'm gonna make him miss me. But our Waffentrager's all alone and E75 finishes him off. So we end up fumbling the game away there, but we at least made an effort to, to win the match. We end up with 3,800 damage, 1,260 assisted, and a defender medal. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.